Our next session is uh, Wiki Women Camp 2017, and uh, it is presented by Vasya Tanasova from uh, Wikimedia Bulgaria, uh, by Natalia Triki from Wikimedia Ukraine, and uh, from oh no <laughs> yeah yeah okay <laughs> and then uh, Mogorzata B from Wikimedia and Polska and also we have two more guests um, Maria Sofidai yes. yes and, and Camilla Camilla Boban yes. from uh, Italy so oh, both of <laughs> 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 thank you would you like to say um, okay Hi everyone, um, I've been asked to introduce this session since I was one of the organizers of the Key Women Camp that was celebrated this July in Mexico City. Um, and I've been asked to briefly state why did we organize the Key Women Camp. Um, I think it's fair to say that we had some uh, goals in mind when we did this, um, this conference. To put you in, in context, uh, 40 women from, I believe it was more than 20 countries, uh, were invited. Uh, women that had been working for a few years in topics related to the gender gap, and uh, they were given scholarships to attend uh, Mexico City. At the same time, uh, there was an important delegation from WMS, around 10 people, so it was about 50 people. Um, some of the objectives of this conference uh, w were related um, to the exchange of experiences. We had people from different projects, different languages, and uh, different uh, regions. Uh, we wanted to check what were the shared experiences, and there were a lot of shared experiences, particularly with the topic of uh, harassment. Um, we wanted to, to exchange those experiences. Uh, we wanted also to exchange um, what we did about it, uh, what were our tactics, what were, uh, uh, how we were dealing with those situations in which uh, there was only one woman in the chapter board, or the, the, when you are just the only woman in, in, in the room, or when you are in a project where there are very few women, or uh, very few people are uh, tackling uh, articles related to the gender gap, and so on and so forth. Um, we are also, uh, one, one of the big uh, reasons for creating this event had to do with creating a global network, uh, we wanted all these people who were, work, who were working on this topic um, to get to know each other, to get to know each other and to start uh, establishing uh, projects in common, doing some international coordination. I'm happy to say that to this day there is that um, those uh, um, talks are still happening. We have a telegram with people who went to the event and some people who didn't but afterwards were added. Uh, where people can talk and can exchange what's going on, or even it's, it can be at times very social, so I heard that this is happening, I thought every, some people here might be interested, and so on. So we wanted to create a, a sort of a global network with the people that at this moment in time are working uh, in things related to being a wiki woman and the gender gap. And we are also cognizant of the fact that we are in a moment of a strategy process, so it seemed like a great uh, opportunity to have uh, all the women, or not all the women, but a lot of women from different backgrounds and different uh, experiences uh, talk to the WMS, explain what were their experiences, uh, uh, both in the projects or maybe sometimes even uh, going through grant processes, etc. Or their experiences with support and safety, for example. So um, we wanted those voices to be heard, to be incorporated in some way to the strategic process. I think that has happened. Um, the, of course, there's always that um, hidden goal of let's uh, have an enjoyable time together. It was a, an intense conference. Um, there were fights, people cried. There was a lot of happiness as well. Um, but all in all, like uh, there was a survey at the end, and people were um, 
thinking that it will have been a very successful conference. The report is not out yet. It will be relatively soon. Um, as you know, there was an earthquake in Mexico recently, and one of the organizers is from Mexico City and has no access to her house. So we are going to be a bit late with the report. But anyways, um, that's like the background of Wiki Women Camp. And now I'm going to allow these lovely ladies to talk about their insights as it relates to the CEE communities. If I can, this is working. <laughs> so the background, of, the background of, of having this talk was that uh, when I um, when I was in um, in Mexico City, I realized, and, and I already saw who is attending it. Uh, I realized that from the region of Central and Eastern Europe, we have just in the beginning I knew about three people: so Montenana, Mobujat, and me. And then I understood about Canelia as well, who is um, from Romania. Born in Romania, so like, <laughs> she's Romanian who lives in in Italy, but we. Uh, yeah. Half and half. <laughs> you are C. I'm yeah. So, so uh, for me, and, and this is out of about how many? Like 40, 45 people? 40, 40 women, so just uh, four people from C. And I thought that we are, as a region, we are heavily underrepresented <coughs> and we need to do something about it. And since the um, participation in the conference was, uh, well, at least. Partly, I guess, that some people were part of the organization, but some people, like me, got invitations. I don't think that there was a bidding process for... It was by invitations. By scholarships? No, it was by yeah, invitations. Yeah. So it, it was like a recognition of what were the yeah. um, efforts which we um, have been involved in, like um, promotion of, of women topics for probably at least the last one year, maybe not the full, you know, the full, full five years after the first edition. But I'm completely sure that in our region we have even more women who are doing very precious uh, work uh, on this, and maybe we simply don't have enough um, tools to, to make it more visible, to, to speak more about it, to make it more, more sexy <laughs> as a topic in our region. So let's try to do something so that next time we have more people from CE who, who are invited, who, who are present in, in this event. Because it is important, it is, um, I'm, I'm completely sure that in our region we are so diverse and, and we have different uh, things and important things to say, to share with the world, to learn from the world. Uh, for me it was especially, um, especially interesting to, to learn how it is um, um, about different things in, in Latin America and just a, a very small thing that can make a difference probably also for you in Mexico City in the um, underground, in the, in the metro uh, system you have different compartments where one is only for women and kids and another is for all genders like everybody uh, can go there but you have so, so the reason to have this solution in the urban network, uh, transportation network, means that they have a problem which, for instance, we do not have. In the same way, maybe we have problems, um, gender issues, which are not known al around the world and we need to speak more about them. So just presenting the situation in our countries, in our region, is important and insightful for the rest of the world. Hmm? Oh. You're five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, five. We still have like, three people to go. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, actually, I must say, well, uh, that uh, when I first came to to, to, to Mexico and uh, and well, um, I met all the women. Uh, the first uh, uh, well, the, the, well, the first thing that uh, dawned dawned on me was actually the same fact as uh, Vasya quoted. Uh, women from all over the world, how come there are so few of us from this region? Uh, why are we so underrepresented? Well, and well, uh, th then we started to talk uh, about it. Uh, and well, um, the idea of uh, promoting uh, um, uh, women participation in our uh, from our <coughs> in all kinds of general wiki 
uh, well, uh, events, activities, well, uh, should be uh, uh, sh should be more and more promoted. Um, well, the other uh, the other precious uh, uh, experience for me was uh, um, a first hand uh, uh, contact uh, with. Uh, uh, women from uh, really distant uh, areas. Um, well, I, I shared a room with a uh, with a girl from India, uh, and we'll, uh, and actually we were talking to her, and we were talking to to many other uh, 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 women from uh, from similar uh, locations. Uh, was some kind of what well, eye opener for me. Uh, how different, uh, how uh, more difficult. Um, or women's situations in various uh, areas of the world may be. Um, well, so for me it was the first uh, Wikimedia woman camp. So the most important uh, thing was uh, give a, a face to a name that I know. So a lot of people I'm. Uh, uh, a friend on Facebook, but uh, I don't know how, uh, who is, what, uh, what uh, uh, is doing. So uh, first of all, this, and uh, the other uh, is uh, recognize that uh, we have the same problems uh, in every Wikipedia. We 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 have the same problems, like uh, the category. The don't. Uh, uh, the problem is uh, we can uh, we can have the categories uh, in a lot of Wikipedia's, and uh, then started uh, projects uh, together. Uh, we talked with Vicky uh, Mueres, and we started the project uh, uh, Imprescindibili, Las Imprescindibles. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> and uh, yes, was uh, was starting something together. Um, that was the first all women event for me. It was really weird not to have any males present. And uh, I, I was also very impressed that we had a um, simultaneous translation because people who didn't know or really didn't speak English, they could just uh, communicate in Spanish and they had uh, um, simultaneous translations. So they were actually able to speak about some topics in their native language without, uh, you know, pauses, without uh, having to think about a better word or something like that. And it was really nice and interesting and, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, probably I would speak more if I could use my native language for <laughs> Wikimedia events, probably, or, I don't know, discuss better. Um, and uh, I... Um, this, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted to comment. Uh, Vasya said that uh, they ha that Mexicans have uh, different, like, uh, special compartments for uh, women riding uh, on public transportation, uh, and we do not have problems. So we do have these problems. We just didn't decide to uh, solve or try to solve these problems in such a way, because um, actually, uh, I, I cannot, of course, speak about everyone, but uh, uh, females, women, are usually the objects of harassment in public transportation, where you cannot do just, like, you, you cannot change <laughs> who is uh, near you, and uh, uh, if it's a, uh, if you are riding in public transportation, you sometimes just cannot escape it. So, uh, it's actually <coughs> a good problem, and yeah, it can be, um, uh, I just, thought after the event that probably, um, so having an all-women event is kind of okay, though weird for me, um, but it also, um, I also wanted to have, um, I don't know, a mixed event at the end of the all-women event, mm -hmm. so uh, being able to, I don't know, to mix this uh, Maybe positive, but not positive, but smiles. It was like that was something missing for me, and uh, I also realized that I used to work in the um, building industry, and I was actually one uh, female, like uh, one female working in in a uh, space where only males were present. 
so it was also okay. I just want to add something. Uh, I just wanted to add something that when I realized that it is just um, the three of us in um, um, in a whole event, like um, uh, sorry, four after point. <laughs> Um, I wanted to make um, some presentation of our region so that more people, more, more women around the world learn what happens here. So that it was my chance to present the whole region. And I asked, uh, like, on the previous day I made a very improvised uh, briefing in, in Facebook asking people um, on my wall to, to tell me what what is going on. So a very underrepresented, <laughs> so very limited um, uh, excerpt of, of what has happened. Uh, I was told about um, uh, Wiki Women, um, Wiki Project Women in Red in Albania, which is indefinite women days, Wiki, Wiki days, uh, about what happens in Macedonia. Women you have never met at the time. Uh, I, I shared what happened in Bulgaria earlier this year, our first ever edited town, uh, and two events in Austria, the Lexicon Code, um, you learn to code with Media Wiki and Wikipedia for Peace. I'm not sh maybe I maybe I could have shown it, um, but sorry. Uh, just just to let you know that although there are there were no a lot of representatives uh, from our region, at least our uh, activities were in a way presented. Come on. So. This was a very, and, and of course, um, the, the basic motivation was to show the Sea, sea Women um, Challenge in the frames of Sea Spring this year. Um, so, so, yeah, probably it's good if we can have like um, uh, a showcase uh, of what is happening in the region in, in the um, area of gender gap, bridging the gender gap. Maybe we can have like a meta page with case studies. Uh, so that we can learn from each other and we can um, easily reuse resources for, for instance, what I gave as an idea to Marius a uh, minutes ago. This can be like a positive outcome of what we are meeting, why we are meeting now and why we are speaking about it. And next time we are going to give this showcase and say, listen, in this region things are happening and maybe we have to um, be better presented, maybe we have to learn from them, maybe next wiki um, women camp can happen in our region, we already have a proven record <laughs> of countries that organize well such events. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, are there any questions from the audience?